yeah, it'd be really exciting to be able to go learn. Um, obviously, in Dallas and with Coach McCarthy, and you know, learn under Dak and, and learn how to be a pro uh, and everything he's done to be successful. So it, you know, it'd be really special. What team have you spent the most time? Um, I, I don't know if there's teams I've spent the most time with. There, there, there's been quite a bit that I've you know been with. I don't really know um, exactly the most, but um, you know, obviously, there's teams that are interested that have been with. You know, me throughout me times, I just don't know exactly who, you know, the most. Any with the Steelers? Uh, yeah, I met with the Steelers and uh, had, had good conversations. You know, a lot of it is just trying to get to know you, who you are as a person, obviously. Um, you know, you talk ball and, and things of that sort and um, get to know, you know, my knowledge of the game. But it's just, you know, building that relationship right now. And Max, do you have talk a about your schedule with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at all? Uh, I don't have anything scheduled with the Buccaneers right now, but I have met with them um, just in formal interview. And uh, again, same thing, kind of, you know, most meetings, you know, go the same way, uh, whether it's with the quarterback coach, whether it's, you know, head coach and GM or with the formal interview, but just, you know, getting to know you, talk about a little bit, get to know them. With the Cowboys, was it formal or informal? And did you get to talk to Mike McCarthy and do on the board at all? No, I didn't get to talk to coach, and it was just uh, uh, informal. So, yeah, I, I haven't met Coach McCarthy yet. Max, Max obviously, you... it'll be a blessing if, you know, any of the 32 teams select you, but would it mean that much more if you were able to stay home in North Texas? Yeah, you know, uh, it, it's special to get drafted by anybody and, and go to any franchise. So I don't know if there's, you know, one or the other that'd be, you know, better. But yeah, it would be, you know, special to, to stay home, stay stay close to, you know, Fort Worth, Dallas area, and to be part of the Cowboy franchise. And Max, looking at your play style, it feels like you just take so many hits and kind of revel in that role of getting beaten up during a game. Just kind of, how does that embrace your mentality, and do you leave it all on the field like that? Yeah, I think it just comes down to competitiveness, and I think you understand your body and um, body type, especially in college. You know, um, it's gonna be a little different. You can't really live in that world in, in the in the NFL. There's guys that are bigger, stronger, run a little bit faster, and, and if you kind of you know live in that world, you're probably gonna be um, off the field most of the time. But yeah, I think it just comes down to competitiveness. Uh, just kind of you know my mindset when I'm out there doing everything I can to help us win. Max, have you met with the Chiefs, and would you be willing to be a backup quarterback with somebody like Mahomes in front? Yeah, I haven't met with the Chiefs yet, um, but, you know, if that interview uh, comes up, we get to meet. Yeah, you know, I understand that, you know, there's a lot of teams in this league that have, you know, franchise quarterbacks and financial commitments and guys that are really successful. So if you get to go into the right, you know, situation, get behind a sit, sit behind, a, you know, one of the best in the league and learn a lot would be, you know, pretty fortunate. What do you want to talk to the Packers at the Senior Bowl, right? Yes, sir. And did they? You talk to them up here as well? Um, I haven't talked to them um, up here yet, but yeah, uh, good conversations at the Senior Bowl, and again, just kind of same same conversations, getting to know me, getting to know them, talk a little bit more. What do you want to show teams with the interviews and also your on-field work this week? Yeah, I think interviews just get to know me as a person. I think you know a lot of it shows up on tape, and, and they kind of have a good feel about who I am uh, as a player. But I think really get to know me, but about who I am behind the scenes, and I think just getting to learn me as a player a little bit more that you can't really see, you know, on tape. And then on the field, just go out and show you're a consistent passer. You got velocity. Your footwork's all cleaned up, and you know you want to compete against the best. Max, Max. when you see what Brock Purdy did this year with the 49ers, do you think that kind of opens people's eyes to, hey, maybe we don't have to use a top ten pick on a quarterback? something like that you know uh, yeah I think it depends you know there's been first overall picks that have had a lot of success and there's been guys that have been picked last or gone undrafted that have had a lot of success so I, I, I think it just you know ranges and, and varies depending on situation that you got put in but uh, it also comes down to it doesn't matter where you get picked at you know whatever you know team you end up with make the most of it it's you know ultimately up to you know was it the right fit with the right people right, right franchise all that Max what would you say that you've really worked on the most through this pre-draft process um, you know, mostly probably just development of, you know, my footwork, maybe mechanics, something that, you know, I never really honed in on throughout college. I never had a private coach my entire life, you know, so in the off season I was just kind of grabbing a bag of balls and going to throw with my receiver. So this time it's, you know, been able for, for me to specialize in, in footwork and, and my mechanics to really clean up on. Who's your agent? Uh, Brian McLaughlin, Vayner Sports. Have you met with the Texans? Uh, yeah, I've met with them um, a little bit, you know, just informal interviews right now. Again, you know, same conversations, getting to know me, getting to know them, talking a little bit of ball. Have you been keeping in touch with Quentin and the other receivers? Are you still able to work out with them? Yes, yeah, I'm still in touch with all of them. Obviously, it was difficult throughout the training process because we're all in different areas, and, you know, you get to meet up with them in the Senior Bowl and um, get to see them, and, you know, we'll all be back in Fort Worth in the next couple of weeks for Pro Day. So it's been it's been fun, though, to stay in touch and see how their process is going. And how was Senior Bowl week? Did you accomplish some of what you were hoping for? You know, are you... 
you talked about improving your footwork. Anything else you're looking to either show this week or that you've been working on besides your footwork? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, yeah, this week, yeah, showing that you're a consistent passer, you got velocity on the ball, you got good ball placement, you're accurate, and then it's learned a lot. You know, you're going to show your knowledge of, uh, of football, whether it's, you know, schematics, um, you know, protections, and then you get to talk with all these, these coaches, GMs, quarterback coaches, and you get to learn a lot from them. And so that's been pretty, uh, you know, fortunate for me. Any quarterbacks you emulate or compare your game to? You know, uh, Jalen Hurts is probably someone I probably play most like. Um, just just looking at what he does, just intangible assets of being a leader, being tough, gritty, uh, fighting through adversity, and leading a group of men. But also um, just physical traits. I think you know he's an underrated passer. He's a pass first guy that is a athletic enough to go make plays. You know whether it's you know just QB design runs, scramble drills, things of that short, third and short. So you know Jalen Hurts is probably someone I'm, I'm probably most similar to. Is he opening the door for a guy like you that can use his feet in the NFL? And, hey, we, these guys can run as well. We can use their feet in the game yeah you know i think that the game's turn into that where you know you need to kind of be mobile and you know mobile doesn't mean you need to run a 4-4 you look at a lot of guys that are just mobile in the pocket of, of making guys maybe miss by an inch of a step and be able to get the ball off or be able to go scramble on a on a third and six you don't need to have to run a you know a 4-4 to be able to do that but uh, you know just be athletic enough to, to help your team so what are you gonna run I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see tomorrow. <laughs> and Max, what have teams asked you about your playoff experience this past year, and how do you think you can leverage that as you prepare to be a pro? Yeah, you know, the, um, being able to play in Big 12 Championship game, Fiesta Bowl, National Championship, um, you know, that's the closest you're going to get to an NFL-style, you know, league in, in college. So be able to play under the lights, um, you know, have success, and be in those moments that have, you know, been fortunate enough for me to be able to talk with teams about. Max, what do you say your biggest strength translates to the NFL level? Um, you know, biggest strength is probably my just competitiveness. I think, you know, at this level, everybody can run, everybody can throw, everyone's a good athlete. But I think just competitive nature um, in the game, wanting to be under the lights, wanting to have the ball in your hands, wanting a group of men to, to lean on you, I think will, you know, really help me going into this next you know, stage of my life. How did you get over that loss in the national championship game? Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get over it. Um, you know, that'll probably burn for a while, you know, on, on you know, a game like that and, and the biggest stage and, you know, doesn't turn out the way we want to. But I think, you know, there's just a lot that I'm still learning from it, you know, how to come back from adversity, how to, you know, mentally just get over um, a hump like that to, to, you know, almost erase it where you don't want to let it dictate too much. But, you know, understand that there's things that I can get better at, you know, from that game. So, you know, still a learning process right now. Max, what was the biggest key to your success this season? Um, you know, obviously I was surrounded by a lot of great players, teammates, coaching staff that really put me in a lot of a great position to be successful. And I think just going out there and being confident, you know, being being myself, cutting it loose, not being afraid to make a mistake. I think that was my problem in, in past years was, you know, just playing a little tight and, and worrying about, you know, trying to be perfect. I think this year just, uh, you know, going out and just being confident. Max, the Bucks are a team that only have one quarterback on the roster right now, <laughs> Kyle Trask. Would that be an ideal situation to get drafted to a team like that where you can go in right away and compete for the starting position? And what would it be like working with some guys over there? I mean, they have a lot of talent at wide receiver with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Yeah, you know, it'd be, you know, wherever you're going to go, it'd be a tremendous um, position to go to. Obviously, there's different situations. Sometimes you have to, you know, sit behind quarterbacks. Sometimes you get to go in there and compete. So, you know, wherever you end up, you know, um, just go in and make the most of it, compete your butt <laughs> off, do whatever you can to, to help the team help the quarterback that might be playing help guys you know that are coming in with you but yeah to be surrounded by a great group like that would be you know pretty cool well you, you were held up by the medical what was that about oh no it was just the mri skin back up so there's nothing that i had i had to do it was just long line <laughs> thank you what do you think you do? what do you think you do best at the quarterback position in this class <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know if it's something I do best. You know, there's a lot of great quarterbacks in this class that are really talented, but just knowing myself, I know that I compete. And I think that's the best thing that I do. I don't know if it's compared to other guys. You know, I don't know these guys well enough. They're all really talented, and all you see of them is on tape. You know, I haven't really got to know these guys too often, but they're all really talented. So just, you know, focusing on myself, um, I know that I can control how I compete. So that's what I do. If you never played quarterback, was there another position that you liked playing in football? Yeah, so I've been a quarterback my whole life. Uh, my dad was a quarterback in college, kind of grew me that way. I guess when I was probably little league, like peewee football, you know, playing defense was kind of fun. You get to run around and hit somebody. So I don't know if I would have been like a safety. I'm not big enough to probably play safety, but I don't know. Always been a quarterback. Max, what was that feeling like? I mean, you, your quick rise to fame. I mean, everybody, you know, going crazy over you, like on TikTok and social media. What was that rise like for you? 
Yeah, it's uh, you know, it was, it was different. You know, I understand that sometimes when when you're on a team that's successful, you get put in the spotlight and, and all that. It's not something that, you know, I, I I fairly enjoy or like being in it. But I understand that you know that's what comes with it. And you know, trying to do your best to you know build up our school, you know, TCU and build up our teammates and, and put us in a good spotlight. So it was fun to you know have our our school and team get the recognition they deserved. Max, what's the biggest thing you learned from Coach Dyke? You know, I, I think it's just how to be confident in yourself. That's something I really learned from him. He put confidence in us as players and, and as a program and just, again, allowed us to go go be loose and, and, you know, be aggressive and be bold and, you know, not be afraid to make a mistake. So that was something I really took away from him. Hey, Max, I, one of the things we notice is that every guy, after they speak on the podium, they take their name tag with them. Is that something that they tell you guys to do or – is that because this means so much to them they want to collect these little things to preserve these moments? Yeah, I did. no one told us that we could take them, so I guess, you know, if we're allowed to, we'll probably take them. But, uh, yeah, you know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a great experience. A lot of us, you know, dream about being here. You watch the Combine mm -hmm. growing up as a kid, so I think to be here, just taking it all in because you only get to go through the draft process once. Max, if you could sum up this experience in three words, what would they be? Um, three words. Let's think. Um, exciting, inspiring, um, and just maybe nervous, I think. Um, and, and not nervous in a bad way, but, you know, it's inspiring to be here because you get to help a lot of kids that, you know, can look up to you that, you know, have dreams of being here. You know, we were once those kids that were here. And just, you know, I think just the nervous part is not in a bad way, but it, it excited in that way of, you know, you don't know how this process is going to go, but you get to see how, you know, each meeting gets to go. You're excited for the next day to go compete against the guys, and you're going to see where this process, you know, takes you. But, you know, it's an exciting time. Thanks, Max. Thank Appreciate you guys. Thank you.